friends. All right, so the 90s, the decade of the Backstreet Boys, Clueless, and these really scary things. Really don't like them. They're really scary to me. No. Nevertheless, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a cute 90s inspired look. Again, inspired, not accurate to the max because I wasn't alive in the 90s. I was conceived in the 90s though, but I was, I was in my mom's belly. I'm gonna show you guys one makeup look. I'm gonna tell you two hairstyles that I love from the 90s and then two more 90s inspired outfits. So I hope you guys enjoy. I had a lot of fun making this video. This is a little sneak peek of what you guys are gonna learn today. This is what we're starting off with. Okay, so now I have, oh my God, I look. <laughs> so I've already moisturized my face and washed it. I have not worn makeup in so long. I just hate the feeling of it. I can't do it. I think like three months since I've worn makeup. So this is gonna be fun. I am going to take them off. I hate taking my eyebrows off. Like I never take my eyebrows off in front of anyone, but it has to be done. I have not gotten them waxed in like six months. So sorry about it. All I know is through like Pinterest <laughs> and watching like YouTube videos and like through friends, like the show, the TV show friends. Yeah, so don't come for me. It was just a sack of cells in the 90s. So what I've learned with my research is that the 90s makeup at least the non-grunge kind of makeup. I'm going for a more natural look because that's how I feel like I would be if I was a 90s teen. I would wear like neutral kind of like brown warm tones and that's what I kind of searched up for on Pinterest. I am only going to spot conceal, but I'm gonna use foundation because I don't have concealer and I just hate putting foundation on my entire face. I used to do it every day during high school. Younger me was stronger than I am now because I cannot stand the feeling of foundation on my face anymore. I have one zip right here, one right here that I popped yesterday and one like kind of scar right here. I do have some not perfect spots right there, but I'm just like, I don't care. Like people can look at my skin, it doesn't matter. Like, Oh, this is not my skin tone. I don't know. Why do I have this? Let me know if you guys have this issue. My face is really, really oily, especially my T-zone, but my nose is also really dry. Like it has like a ton of flakes and stuff on it. So can you tell me why my skin doesn't want to pick one side? Because being oily is also just feels gross. And sometimes it's not the most flattering because it kind of looks dirty sometimes. And also being flaky is not nice, but I get the best of both worlds. So I love that for me. If you guys have any tips on how to help that, let me know. I just don't know why my nose gets super oily, but it still has dry and patchy. I'm not a fan. Sorry if like you guys hear like my chair squeaking. Honestly, I don't think that's a, there's much of a difference after I concealed that, but done with foundation kind of. So now to take care of these brows. Okay, so I know the 90s is notorious for having really, really thin sperm brows, but honey, I can't pull that off. So that's why this is called 90s inspired. We're not going, we're not going back in time to the 90s. We're just gonna do modern day 90s, if that makes any sense at all. But I'm gonna try to go on the thinner side while I'm doing my eyebrows, but I'm not gonna go crazy thin. Yeah. Kind of. I definitely went thinner on the tail right here. I usually go a little, little bit thicker, but I thought I would compromise and do what I'm like showing you guys what to do. So maybe I shouldn't be a hypocrite. Okay, so I made my eyebrows as thin as is acceptable on my face. I just, I just can't, I can't go thinner. Another thing that I noticed when I was researching, oh God, I need to put on chapstick. Um, let me do that. As I was saying, I when I was researching, I saw that a lot of people in the 90s or at least celebrities used a lot of brown kind of neutral shadows and it was more one color if anything and they would do kind of heavy on the top and on the bottom i'm not gonna go super heavy on the top just because i have eyelash extensions and i don't want the powder to get all over them i used to do eyeshadow before with my eyelash extensions and it looked really nice when i would open my eyes but right when i would blink or you would see like the under like that part of the eyelash, like right there, it would be filled with shadow and it was just bad. Like for dance competitions, it was bad. I'm just gonna use a bronzer, this really gross four-year-old sample size bronzer uh, and just put that on my eyes, like it's eyeshadow because it's literally like the exact color that I need. We don't need to get eyeshadow for this. So I'm just gonna use my ring finger right here and just try to not hit my eyelashes. I'm kind of just literally going all over my lid. I have a mono lid, so I don't have any creases. Oh God, I hate when my lights do that. Can you all tell that it's even there? That's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's there. 
Now I'm just gonna go under my eyes, not too far. I don't want to look like it was crying off like eyeliner or anything, but I kind of want to smoke it out, kind of make the look more interesting. And I saw that a lot of people were doing that. Now that we were done with the eyeshadow, the minimal eyeshadow, I told you guys, but I think it's pretty cute. I am going to head on to blush and I observed a lot of people put blush only on the apples of the cheeks they never went up to like here i already have some redness on the apples of my cheeks so i don't have to go super heavy and it's not even like cute blush rosiness like it's like little spots of red so yeah i've also noticed that there was minimal highlighter involved and if anything it was like the glittery like gray grayish silver no one really contoured their faces if they did use bronzer it would be kind of minimal but no one was like sculpting their face for the gods i unfortunately threw away a lot of my makeup when i moved out of my dorm i only have this highlighter i think i'm gonna go with this one not the pinky one i feel like this one's a little bit too fairy and not neutral on the bridge of my nose really faintly i'm like not even trying to look highlighted i'm just gonna try to look glowy and youthful i say that like i'm not 18 years old almost done with the makeup it's really easy i'm telling you a big 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 thing i saw on pinterest was a lot of red kind of nudey brown ish lipstick i'm trying to duplicate that kind of color i only have liquid lipsticks i hate the normal sticks so i'm just going to try to blend these two together uh, this is kind of a more pink brownish tone and this is definitely red but on the darker side i'm gonna reference off this picture of drew barrymore and try to recreate this lip color she kind of killed it so let's see if we can recreate it so i think i'm gonna go more heavy on this with this color and then try to deepen i don't know brownify make more brown ish i don't know what i'm saying you guys you guys will figure it out i'm gonna make this color more brown with this yeah that's what it, that's what i was trying to get make sure to define your cupid's bow with my lipstick i usually round out my cupid's bow i just don't like the look of mine but for the sake of this video i'll have to do it as i said before i'm gonna try to make the color more brown with this it's not super brown but i think it has the right tones for it i don't really know how this is gonna work but we'll see I don't think it did what I wanted it to. If anything, it made the color lighter and her lips are really dark. So I'm just gonna go in again with this. All right, so I might have fucked up a little bit. Um, I had a lot of my lipstick on my fingertips and I thought a good idea was to wipe it on my light wash denim jeans. And with that, I think we're good with the makeup. Again, 90 inspired, not 90s. For real, now let's move on to the hair. So a hairstyle I'm gonna show you guys today is super cute. It's kind of like a hair clip crown thing. Uh, the only thing you're gonna need are some hair clips. I keep mine here, this jar broke. And I think the ones that I'm going to choose today are the tortoise shell ones. We're gonna need three of them. I prefer using five, but I only have three of the same style. If you guys can go for five, it looks a lot more funky and cute, but you know, we're gonna settle for what we have. First thing we're gonna start off with is trying to get the part right here, like on the crown of your head, I think that's what it's called. For all of my friends with bangs, it's gonna be right where the triangle ends. That's where mine ends. Um, but if you guys don't have bangs, you guys just start with like the first, like the middle section of your hair from your forehead. Twist it, it doesn't matter which way you twist it, but you just wanna get the hair all bunched up together. And then you're gonna take your clip and then clip it at the root. I'm just gonna go a little bit higher because for me, I like to be able to see it right from like straight on. See how you guys can see it right there? I just think it looks a lot cuter. And the next thing you have to do is just do the same exact thing. A little section, twist it. So the tricky part is just trying to make sure that they're all the same width apart and that these are, you know, level. But once you're done with that, that's it with the hairstyle. It is so cute, super not unusual because it's not that 
crazy but it's a lot less normal for a lot of people to wear this usually people just wear the two clips right here you never usually really see people put one on top right there so it kind of looks like a crown like a little tiara super cute it's really oh, dare i say retro i love wearing this because it is so fast to do it's literally putting three clips in your hair but it's just interesting to look at and it kind of gives people like a sense that you tried harder than you actually did so we love that Another hairstyle that is really, really nice that a lot of 90s gals were doing were high ponytails. Obviously, the 90s did not invent this, but I feel like it was showcased a lot in a lot of TV shows, movies, pictures. I just think it's really cute. I'm not going to do one right now because you guys know how to do a high ponytail. Kind of look like a knockoff Sabrina Spellman, but Asian. Even if you weren't born in the 90s, you guys know this monstrosity happened. So I wanted to think of an outfit that kind of pays an homage to it, but is not that ugly. So I try to go for this hot kind of 90s mama, hip girl kind of look. So I went with a denim jacket that I got from Zaffle, these denim jeans from PacSun, a black bodysuit from Nordstrom, paired that with some big hoops some funky black sunglasses that you don't even wear in your eyes because they suck and they're from Amazon. Then some notorious dad shoes, mine are Fila's. You could easily switch up this look by taking off that denim jacket and swapping those sunglasses for some red ones to match your lips. And I just love it. It's a nice, simple, really easy, funky fit. This next outfit is inspired by Jennifer Aniston's iconic look in Friends and it's really cute but it's kind of weird because like the fetishes that go with a schoolgirl outfits but anyways I'm wearing this black turtleneck from Amazon it was super cheap really recommend and then I'm wearing this kind of really short skirt from Brandy Melville kind of piggybacks off the slutty, slutty schoolgirl vibes but you know it's kind it's fine. I didn't really know how else to show you guys this skirt, so I just started jumping. And that's basically what the top half of my outfit looks like. I then paired them with some Adidas Superstars or Stan Smiths, I don't know. And make sure to roll your socks up because it makes it even more schoolgirly. And you could even pair them with some 90s Converse Chuck Taylors. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, I didn't know anything in the 90s, so I had to rely on other sources except for my brain. So don't be too hard on me. I had a lot of fun with this, with this video. It was just, it's not a serious video, okay? Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel if you want to, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yay.